Hello, my name is Adrian Hanlon and this is my YouTube channel, Exam Heroes. Please hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out on any new content. Hope you find these videos helpful and best of luck in your studies. Leaving certificate, politics and society, ordinary level, and the topic is framing our ideas. So, when studying politics, one of the first things you need to look at is the difference between left-wing politics and right-wing politics. Left-wing ideology believes in increasing in social welfare payments and social housing, whereas right-wing believes in a decrease in taxation. In terms of the government, left-wing politics believes in the regulation of economies, and the right-wing politics believes in no regulation, laissez-faire. In Ireland, we have a mixture of both. We're not far right or far left. Examples of regulation of economy would be employment law. For example, we have a minimum wage in Ireland. Left-wing politics believes in progressive taxation. To take more from high earners. And right-wing politics believes in regressive taxation. To take less from high earners. An example of a progressive taxation would be the USC. The more you earn, the more you pay. An example of regressive taxation would be VAT, for example. Regardless of someone's income, they both pay the same amount of VAT on goods. For example, on a can of Coke or a Mars bar. So what is capitalism? Well, it's a market-driven economy where the state does not intervene. Private ownership of the four factors of production. This means the people privately own the factors of production, not the state. So for example, companies that would produce different goods and services would be owned privately, not by the state. The market determines price and supply of goods. And the market decides on how income and profits are distributed. So some of the good things about capitalism, it creates innovation and it creates wealth. Innovation takes various forms in technology, medicine, etc. And in terms of wealth, well, if you look at the bottom left, Ireland has the fifth largest number of billionaires per capita. However, the negative sides of capitalism is that it creates inequality. And in some cases, without state intervention, you can have an increase of prices. For example, the average house prices in 2018 rose almost up to 10% in Limerick. Socialism is an economy where the state does intervene in the economy, including social welfare payments and employment of people. For example, in a purely capitalist economy, Irish will would not exist because that is owned by the state. State has ownership of the four factors of production. Socialism is concerned with a fair and equal distribution of wealth. Most countries, including Ireland, are somewhere between socialism and capitalism. For example, if you look at the bottom right, you can see where the government announced a 3.7 billion package to support incomes during the coronavirus outbreak in Ireland. In a pure capitalist society, this would not happen. Communism. Communism and socialism are both two left-wing schools of economic thought, both oppose capitalism. An extreme version of socialism is communism. What are the differences? Well, socialism allows personal assets and property. Communism does not. So for example, in communism you might own a car yourself. Um, in socialism you can. Socialism allows freedom of religion. In communism, religion is abolished. Marxism has had the greatest influence on the communist movement and one of the founding developers of this concept is Karl Marx and he stated that the history of all previous societies has been the history of class struggles. Communism is when all manufacturing or means of production are equally owned by all the members of a state. The intended result is to eliminate the capitalist inspired class system where one class does all the work and the other gets all the money. 
Liberalism is a political ideology that believes in the goodness of people. Uses government to protect social inequalities. Example, class, race, sexual orientation, etc. Believes in freedom of speech, freedom of religion, race and freedom of press. An example of liberalism in Ireland was the Gay Marriage Act that was recently enacted. A simple question was put to the people of Ireland. Will you support the marriage of two people of the same sex? And they answered with a resounding, we will. As each county declared, it soon became clear the Yes campaign had done it. To have your countrymen and women come out and support your right to marry. Fascism. Fascism is an ideology of the far right. Its leaders believe that liberal ideas weaken social and political order. It is based on nationalism, which people take great pride in their country or nation, strong military, and where the government is ruled by a dictator. So in this case, there's no democracy. It's ruled by one. Germany, Italy and Spain had fascist leaders.